Hey crafty friends, today I want to share with you how to create an amazing art journal background using two types of texture. This is one of the pages that I'm sharing in my new series, Year of Art Journaling, uh, where each month we are going to create an amazing, beautiful art journaling page, learning all the secrets and the techniques and the materials of how to use this. So for this background, I need gauze. You can get that in the pharmacy. And then use your fingers to simply just distort the fibers a little bit, pull them, and make the gauze not so neatly woven. So texture in art journaling pages can sometimes be tricky because you don't want it to be too thick and have a bulky art journal but gauze is a really great way to add texture, tactile texture. In my new series, I explain what kind of textures you can have in your art journal pages and mixed media projects in general. Uh, contrary to what you might think, textures come in different shapes and ways and not just tactile, meaning not just something that you can feel with your fingers. So what I'm doing is I have put the gauze on the pages, wet them a little bit, and now I'm spraying them with dilution, dilution sprays. I'm using different colors, and while I'm spraying the gauze, you can see that I'm also spraying the page, the paper. So you get two for one, and you're going to see the great effect that we're going to get when we finish spraying the entire surface. This is a really cool and easy technique, very affordable. Um, and in my new series, Year of Art Journaling, I go over so many techniques, more than 24 techniques of art journaling and how to make your art journaling beautiful, interesting, expressive, unique, and of course, fun. So you can go ahead and check that series out. So I finished with the spraying and now the next step is to dry it completely it should be very very dry because what we're going to do next is peel off the gauze from the paper and then you're going to see the great effect that we've created on the paper the gauze is basically sort of a stencil and the spraying that went through the fibers created a pattern on the paper that's really really cool don't throw away the gauzes we're going to use them to add even more texture to this page but first what we need to do is cover the entire page with clear gesso the gesso basically acts as a sealer to the page because if we want to add more mediums and continue working on the page and not seal it uh, the water-based sprays are going to completely blend together and smear and we don't want that. So when we put the clear gesso on, we basically have a fresh new surface to work on. Look at that pattern. Isn't that pretty? That is the gauze that was sprayed on the page. Now take the gauze that is already full of color cut it into strips or pieces and then add it onto the page with some gel medium that will add even more texture to our page without making it too bulky so this is a great way to make your art journal pages much more interesting by adding this texture so I'm adding a layer of gel medium gluing down the gauze and then add another layer of gel medium on top of it. You can also use cheesecloth, a bandage, any type of very very thin fabric that you can frail a little bit and move the fibers within it. Not something that is too thick because then you're going to miss the entire half transparent thing that went on before with the spraying. So I'm adding more pieces 
of texture onto my art journal page is I'm playing with the colors. I want to create contrast, so if my gauze is yellow, I'm going to glue it down to the paper where I have pink or green. And if my gauze is pink, then I'm going to add it where I have yellow. So this way, I'll create contrast not only with the texture, but also with the colors. So in this new series, I'm teaching you what is tactile texture and what is visual texture and how to create both of them. So this is a really fun technique that you don't want to miss. So keep on adding those gauze pieces until you're happy with the amount of texture that you have on your page. And of course, once you've finished, you should dry all the gel medium you don't want it to be sticky or something so it should be completely dry before you move on to your next step so this is the background that we created the finished background and look at this pattern here it's very subtle but it's very cool you have two types of texture one next to the other and it's really really a very good base to start an art journal page with lots of techniques to add on it so basically if you are intrigued curious if you want to try art journaling because you've never tried it before if you want to learn how to art journal and how to create all these techniques and all these beautiful pages then join the VIP room at anotkessler.com you have the link under the video and you get access to this amazing year of art journaling series that will be that we already started but you can have lifetime access to it uh, even previous lessons you'll get 12 art journaling pages plus a few more bonus pages and you'll learn more than 24 different techniques use new materials new supplies learn how to maximize the supplies you already have and use the tools that you already have in your stash and create beautiful art journal pages this series has it all and you don't want to miss it so you can join the VIP room at anotkessler.com and check this series and join in the fun with us and learn how to create amazing art journaling pages. So join me in the fun and I'll see you there.